that simmer down a bit. A bit of bok choy with some honey. A bit of garlic as well. It's good for the throat. Lots of liquid in it. Soft. Whatever. So, Ni how are you doing? You must be the one that uh, can sit so, over. Is that right? Yes, this, this is a Chinese restaurant. Look, oh, some British. Well, actually, I'm from Hong Kong. My name's Quinn Chen, but I like to say I put the core in Cajun. It's the only joke I'll make, I promise. You've got um, some odds and sods for me. You put it there. All right. Maison Kitsune. He must like you. He's a good bloke, Cam. Likes his cameras, doesn't he? But then, yeah, they called him camera. <laughs> no, they didn't. I think it's camera or something like that. All right, let's take a look. This is a proper bon voyage, isn't it? Yeah, not not everyone who speaks with a British accent lives in London and has tea with the Queen. I mean, well, I did live in Greater London for a while, and I did meet the Queen once. But it's because I used to have a Michelin star. Yeah, a bit different now, but yeah, I don't. Don't miss those days. Yeah, that'll simmer down, don't worry. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, the full works. Well, listen, I won't lie. This will not be pleasant. The bit with Cam is the nice part. Anyway, you take this back, I'll put that on the side. I'll take it with you when you go. Do not forget it, because you're meeting his brother at the airport. Is that right? Yeah, he's a lovely fella. He looks exactly like Cam, even the clothes, but long hair, like me. Yeah, I think Cam had a tough life or something. Lots of stress, or too much testosterone, I don't know. Anyway, you know. Americans. Anyway, all right, so what we're going to be doing today. First, I'm going to have a cigarette. It's my kitchen, I can do what I like. You can have one too if you want. No obligation. I'll explain the fun that we've got ahead. So, there are two very painful parts to this process that I should probably warn you about in advance. Three, if you count one. Anyway, so the first thing we got to do is we got to get rid of these. Not your fingers, don't worry. It's not Yakuza shit. I'm triad anyway, so. We're going to get rid of your fingerprints. This is so that no one can trace you. So you don't leave any mucky paws wherever you go so other people can find you. But more than anything is to protect us, the people who are helping you. Say bon voyage. Because any trace you leave is a trace back to us. You understand, yeah? That being said, the next bit you won't like. After we have got rid of the old digits, or at least your unique identifier, we will be replacing your teeth. Yeah, probably the least pleasant part of this, gotta be honest. 
put a uh, just something nostalgic and like tasty about it you know even if you don't like onions you've got to love the smell of them cooking or peppers bell peppers of course you look cool I hope it's eating zucchinis or something like that isn't it is it Eggplants. What you? What's the zucchini then? Would you call it shallot? It's a shallot. Anyway, where was I? Yeah. Then we're taking out your teeth, and we're replacing them with new teeth. Now this is only for our security, because if you get offed wherever you go, they check your tooths. They're going to find out who you really are. Then what happens is they come knocking at my door. They come knocking at Cam's door and we all get chucked in the clink, don't we? We don't want that. I'm not saying you'll die. And that wasn't a veiled threat of some kind. Not at all. I'm not a violent man. Neither is Cam. His brother's a bit of a shit sometimes, but phew, brothers, younger brothers. <laughs> but anyway, that's just so that if you cop it once you've bye bye we don't get caught cool. yeah I know it seems a little harsh but it's part of this contract that you've entered in with us to help you did Julia let you through by the way did she ask you about anything or did she just say yeah go on ahead bloody hell so I'm a bit ditzy today busy morning of prep this is going to take a little while because it's all medical stuff. Well, now we're more hygienic than a kitchen. Maybe a tattoo parlour, I suppose. Or a hospital. But you can't go to one of those, can you? Hey. Anyway, you're probably dying to get started this joyous process. So, usually I'd let people choose <clears throat> which one they do first but what I find is that if I do the digits first if I sand down your prints Cam took your prints before didn't he before you left yeah okay good if I sand them down if then I take out your teeth you can't really hit me because you're all weird and stuff I can give you a sedative if you like. Now you're tough, you'll be alright. You don't need that. Hey? That's the spirit. So what I'm gonna use today, just a simple sanding tool to sand down your fingerprints. And then we'll move on to the dentist stuff. It's all hygienic, don't worry. Use these to pull them out after I've had a little gander inside. Get your new teeth in, which will be nice. And then, some people find this the worst bit. I understand why. I'm gonna to have to take your blood, not all of it, just enough so that we've got your DNA on record in case it pops up again. Because we can change your prints, your teeth, all the aesthetic stuff, but it's difficult for us to change what's inside without a complete blood transfusion that will probably kill you. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to take your blood and make sure if it ever pops up anywhere, it pops down. All right. Anyway, of course, hygiene is important. Do try better. No. Bok choy. Yeah, we don't. We call it pak choy back in the UK. Why is that? Same stuff in it. I don't know, you tell me. Are you even from the US? Yeah, I came here about five years ago. It's nice. It's 
one's always happy. They always uh, tip. People don't think there's a tip culture in Europe, in the UK, but there is. 12.5% or something like that. We call it a service charge. It's put on every bill when you go to a restaurant. Sometimes it's discretionary, like, you know. Hmm. But you look like a right idiot if you said to the staff, well, look here, can you take off that 12.5% discretionary service charge? Wouldn't you? Whereas here in the US, you rely on tips. Bloody nuts, if you ask me. Anyway, I guess it means that you sort of put more effort in, in it, like you're friendlier and stuff, saying have a nice day, all that, all that American stuff. So that's a cigarette done, that's the first part. Now you're on my clock now, don't worry. You've got plenty of time, I'm not wearing a watch. You've got the time, don't worry. Doesn't matter. Right, you've got all your directions and stuff in that little leather bag. Lovely bag, by the way. So you charge your own shift for that. You all paid up and all that stuff, yeah. Good. Right or left? That's the choice. Let me check these off. So I've got to put this to cool here. Yeah. I'll probably end up eating it myself, to be honest. Right or left? Your and. Which one? This is loud. So I'm walking into you. <laughs> All right. So yeah, it's a sounder. So we're just gonna write down on your digits. It won't take long for each. I'll count down from 10. So we'll start with your left pinky, which I've heard is the most painful to get done first. Then we'll work our way down and we'll get to the other pinky, which apparently is the easiest on your right hand. So pop your left hand down, don't worry. It, I'll tell you what, little bonus, give me your hand. Do you mind? A little massage. See? It's all fine. There we go. Hey. Hey, don't worry. It does hurt. But, you know, you must be in a bit of trouble if you're here anyway. So, you know, it's better than that, isn't it? I assume. What's your new name? I didn't look in the... Ooh, nice choice. Where did you decide to go in the end? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, lovely. Yeah, you'll have a lovely time. Oh, yeah, I've been there. I worked all over the world. I was on cruise ships for a while. The old Cunard. Yeah. Transatlantic. Someone who talks there, don't they? Did this one cruise once. <clears throat> it was a bunch of, uh, oh, I don't know, what, I can't remember his name, but they all believed in like uh, lizard people and stuff. And so what we cooked for them was iguana. I think that uh, was the bloke, who, the richest bloke in the world, likes seeing him then. Don't ask me. I'll stick to my monotonic gold and cow's blood, thank you very much. I'm just kidding. There you go. How's that? Feeling a little bit more limber and relaxed now. Perfect. Because this isn't going to be relaxing. Maybe it will be. It's like getting a tattoo, but you're getting your skin shaved off. I'll get in the lowest setting for now. Four, 
three, two, one. That was it. That was loud, wasn't it? Oh, that's all your skin on there. Right, we just have to do that 50 more times. I'm joking, that was the only time we have to do that. Let's put that away. Bloody hell. Right, let's have a look here. Oh. to a British barber shop. No, it's worth a visit. It's one of the old sort of, they're unisex now, which is good usually, but you still get these sort of old, old style ones, you know, like. It's a big part of British culture, actually going to barbers. I mean, they don't like me, I've got long hair. They think I'm trying to put them out of business, innit? Do you? Do you let you choose your range? That's fun, isn't it? Yeah, if I was going to do it, I've been told I can play anywhere between 19 and 28. I'm joking. We're in my 40s, mate. Right. See? when I shaved off your fingerprints. <laughs> oh, funny old gig. Hey. Eat your appetite. Go on, I'll kill you. There you go. How's that? Me? Well, I got into it the same way Cam did, really. We was both working, and Cam's had that cam shop for years, like years, longer, uh, because he's from here, you know, he's a local boy. And like I said, I came over about five years ago, and I've got contacts in certain organisations, you know. And Cam and I, we got talking one day, and he was saying about how he used to do all these little jobs for people, making them disappear, and I thought he meant killing them, and I was like, being a bit open about that, mate. Killing people. And he clarified that it's not killing people, it's making them disappear. Bon voyage, that's where they came from. And so I said, well, really? Well, that's funny, because I know I had to kill someone. <laughs> I said, I know I had to, you know, eliminate a trace of person. You know, cleaning, if you like. And we said, oh, well, that's cool. Let's get into Let's start doing it then, with our contacts and stuff, you know. And that's how you found Cam, which led to me. You'll meet his brother as well, he just had to get involved. He's one of them types, you know. He was like, oh, please, please, please. I want to make people disappear, come on. He's all right. He's young. So anyway, that's what we started doing. You want another bit? You got one. There you go. 
I'll hold it for you because your hands are pretty messed up there, mate. There you look. They'll heal as smooth as you like. I swear that, bro. But no one will be able to find you or anything like that. I forgot my watch. All right. While I'm smoking this gaff, let's take a look in your gob. Oh, by the way. Would you reckon? They're pretty nice, aren't they? Very American. See, I've got very British teeth. I, should, I could do with these, to be honest. I should operate on myself. So yeah, the cool thing is, because we'll be, we, these will be just be temporary. We'll need to rebuild them properly and stuff. Yeah, that's right. What was I talking about? I'm so absent-minded. Well, let's see. I don't know why I'm still cooking it. This bok choy is ruined. Get saturated. Garlic's completely lost all flavour. So what I do though, I just cook. You know, all the time. Just love it. I like helping people. Seems like a weird way to want to help people you know, by helping them leave countries. But what we've got to remember, like where I'm from, sometimes you don't have a choice, you know, you've got to leave where you are because it's all messed up. The last thing anyone wants to do is leave their home, you know. I left my home, that was my choice sometimes people don't have a choice it's the very least we can do is help people out just slip you 20 quid by the way I'm joking I didn't really oh it's an old gag Max <clears throat> yeah so never judge anyone if they come to you for help or if they want to leave where they're at you don't know their circumstances you don't know what has pushed them so far that they feel they have to leave their home. How do you feel? Anyway, sorry. A bit close to home right now, you know? We should all do what we can within our capabilities of what we can do to help people. For some reason, my capability is butchering bok choy and shaving off people's fingers. But bloody hell, I'm going to do it if it helps someone. Right here. Anyway, on to the fun bit. Let's take a look in your gob. Say R. Oh. I'll change my gloves if you want me to. They're all wet now from sweat. Well, you know what they say. If you can't stand the heat, don't be a chef. How many teeth you got? Did Cam count them? They're all coming out anyway, at least the uh, main ones. If I can get my blade glove back on, eh? God, my ones. I hate gloves. Oh, when you meet Cam's brother, you'll want to know all about you. 
the old you before you go. That's just his nature. You don't have to tell him a thing. Or don't. It's not your. It's not your problem or your prerogative to satisfy his childlike curiosity about our clientele. But I just want to tell you that you know he is armless. I mean, he's got arms, but you know what I mean. Fun with accents, eh? It's like Tokyo Drift out there. Right. Let's have a look. Let's have a gander in your gob. Oh, this way, uh, this is the easy bit. Open up. Yeah, look up a bit for me. Yeah, I see. Perfect. Look, I feel really bad about this. So, like I did with your mitts, I'll give you a little jaw massage. Is that okay? Gel because, and this will sound bizarre, because we can use your teeth for other stuff. We can crush it down and make milk, all kinds of stuff. Alright. It's a bit of a redundant question, but are you ready? This good. Oh, here we go. First one's the easiest one, all right? That's it, keep it open. Oh, okay, all right. Ooh. Let's do another one, yeah? Don't worry. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. You got any 
favorite songs or anything like that. No? Oh, that, that's fine. Grumpy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ready soon to do and there's nothing to do but take tea fair of you. Just making it up. I love singing. Makes me laugh. Singing makes my heart sing. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. Why not? Hey, feeling love. Oh, you love singing to love. You want to hear oh, some old cockney songs or something? That'd be better. Yeah, cockney songs. So easy cockney songs to hunt. You just saw them. it's all like Chess and Dave, basically. You don't know Chess and Dave. Blood, you pay for my dry cleaning, you are. Talking. You don't have to pay for it, I think you've already settled with Cam. Cam the man. Oops. He's a good lad. How much he charge you? Oh, he must have liked you. Oops. He must have liked you a lot. That's a good rate there. Yeah, usually, well, he's tried this one bloke once. I'll tell you, absolute conk. Yeah, he wanted everything so specific, like, and counted. He's on his best to accommodate him. Because that's Cam, you know, he's a good lad. He likes his cameras and he likes to help people. Anyway, this fella, right, he was giving Cam so much grief about specifically wanting to go to, I can't remember where it was, I feel like a, a funny place. And Cam was like, well, we can't even, I don't think you can even fly there from here, you know? And it turned out the place he wanted to go was actually the reason we hadn't heard of it and stuff was because it was just around the corner from his house. And so, oh, come on. And so Cam was like, yeah, all right, mate, we can do that. Uh, but it'll cost you double. Because he was being such a jerk. Uh, 
but you've been lovely. I reckon if Cam's given you a price like that, you've done all right for yourself, mate. Not many more. Don't worry, okay? We'll be done soon. You've only got so many teeth, after all. <laughs> Those first few came out like baby teeth. How old are you? <laughs> Clean up on my old mouth, eh? Just tidy you up a bit of that. And me as well. Oh, right, nearly there. Nearly there. Oh, my get off old gloves. Things in here. Oops. If I do it right. Bowl full of teeth. I might serve it later. Joking. I wouldn't serve it. One more, a big one. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Yeah. Ah. Blimey, you bleed a lot. Really well. I'm very proud of you. Right. Well, it's no good, is it? some eggs earlier. I haven't been able to get you know when something shall just use one. Yeah you know when something food stays with you. I had a century egg. You ever had one of them? You did it you're not supposed to do it the way that they say because you're supposed to do it in like urine. And that's what I did. And I'll tell you what it tasted like piss. I just haven't been able to get that taste out of my mouth, so I apologise if my breath smells. Anyway, let's get these new gnashes in. So we've got some gel here. We'll stick it in. Alright. Let's get it all lined up. Just give me a big grin. Alright, gummy. <laughs> and this one I'll straighten down. told I could be in film if they was looking for a middle-aged 
slightly overweight British person. <laughs> Alright, let's just take a quick look. Open white. So not much to do now. Do need to take your blood. I oh know. Arguably the worst bit. Blood everywhere anyway. I could just take some off the bloody table. I'll tie the up a bit first. Should I put that pack toy on again? Nah. No, so much blood everywhere. Anyway, seems like a seems like a doomed plan. I like to keep a reasonably tidy workplace. You know what I mean? Right. You scared of needles? If you are, I'd look away. Close your eyes, your peep is tight, all right, because <clears throat> this is a needle. This is a serious warning. If you are scared of needles, close your eyes now. I'll let you know when it's safe to open again. Otherwise, you were forewarned. But it's all clean, don't worry. Now I'm gonna take it. When you get to the portrait and stuff like that, they get a bit funny about track marks so i'm going to take it from there why it may seem a bit weird but trust me oh, i'm gonna get in close oh that's all right let's see here we go ready okay oops i messed up oh, i hardly got any i'm gonna do it again So like I said, all we do with that, we use that to basically make sure you don't pop up anywhere <laughs> that you're not supposed to. You can open your eyes, the needle's gone. So is that glove, my hand's so sweaty. All right, Ooh, hold on. One of your teeth might have got on your bag a bit. So I apologize for that. Just a little bit of blood on it, but don't worry. Let's all clean up. We've got all your tooths here. It's mainly blood, to be honest. Um, and that's a wrap. We've done it. Yeah, easy as, easy as that. Easy as getting your, getting your, Fingerprints done, teeth done, blood done. Easy as that. How do you feel? Pretty shit, yeah. Well, you're gonna, after all that, it's not relaxing. But that concludes your business with me today. Now, you just need to go and meet. Cam's brother at the airport, yeah? And he'll ask for your little Maison Kit Sydney bag. You give it to him, he just checks everything over, and then he will go through with you in detail what you need to do when you reach your destination. Because there's stuff like supply drops, stuff like that to keep you 
keep you all right, make sure you're okay, make sure you're settling in to your life. We check up on you for the first three years while you're up there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then after that, you're on your own. All right. You'll never see me again. I hope you've enjoyed my company and sometimes my terrible humour. Um, find the life you want to leave by finding the life you want to lead. Yeah? Keep true to you, even if you're someone else. Still always be you. Yeah. Right. I better restart this bloody bok choy. But I'll tell you what, it's been a bok joy to meet you. You can see yourself. It's because I'm a Londoner. Do, do, do. It's because I'm a Londoner.